In this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple autocomplete search engine on your website. First, we are going to work with the front end. Then, in the next tutorial that I'll be publishing on the channel, we shall use Ajax and PHP to get that data from a database. And I'll show you how I implemented this on my website. First, we are going to get the basics of how to use this autocomplete feature using the materialized modern front-end framework on the client side. First, I would like to take you through the files that we are going to be using. I went and downloaded the materialized already because I have shown this a lot of time. So we have a folder called CSS and I have a minified version of materialized. So that's what we are having. So materialized.mini.css. Then in the JS file, I have materialize.mini.js so you need to be having these two files the CSS file and the JS file then I went ahead and created index.html so without due let me show you the live example that we're going to be working on so this is what we are having right now some h1 or h5 and a search engine so the user may be searching for a word that has letter O in it. So the moment they place O, they will display every word that has O in it. Get if they go ahead and they'll bring these two words. If they put G, then they will put Google, stuff like that. So when they put Y, they will bring back the results that have Y in them. When they put A, any result that has A. When they put E, so you get what I'm meaning then let me show you how i use this on my website using php and ajax so i know it looks fake right now because I, I i don't have internet right now but in case somebody starts searching let's say how to you get they are fetching this data on the fly from a database so this one can easily help you to create give back the exact results that the user is searching for so the user won't search so they will be bringing back the data to the user let's say it just puts in url they will go and fetch another an article that has that face url let's say javascript you can see they have brought back every face or title that has that face javascript let's say icons stuff like that so that's what I'm going to be showing you in the future tutorials using PHP and Ajax but right now we are first going to concentrate on the front end and you see how it's done without using those two technologies and language I'm going to refresh this page and we lose everything and we are going to start from scratch so what you have to do is create a simple boilerplate or marker for HTML we're having that i'm just going to put autocomplete in the title section autocomplete refresh so that you know we are working with the same file as you can see there then i'm going to link the css file and it's inside this folder called css let me first do like this css that's the folder then forward slash we enter inside and access that file and it's called materialize.mini.css then I like linking my JavaScript at the bottom of the page then I see people nowadays they don't want to use this but it's preference I always leave it there so I'll access the folder called JS as you can see here then forward slash and access a file called materialize.mini the js so that's the file that is inside this folder as you can see so we have linked to them on the page very very simple then i'm going to create a div and give it a class of container so if you have ever used a framework like bootstrap you know what this does it just centers the content in the middle leaves some equal with it on the right hand side and left hand side so i'm just going to put some h4 and you say 
autocomplete or autocomplete search refresh the page and that's what we are having nothing special about that then let us create a div and we are going to give it a class of input field so this is a wrapper for every input field when you're using materialize framework so you're going to create another input here and we sorry <laughs> yeah this is a input this is the div not another input it's the first input then we can take off this name because we don't need it right now then we are going to give it class of autocomplete to this input field and this is what we need for the markup only this div with the input field as a wrapper for this input field inside input field as a class then inside we have an input field and specify the type to text so we refresh and we're having that then let us put a label so that the user will know this is a search engine and we tell the user like search refresh and that's what we are having you can see how it's very very simple to create inputs using this framework as i told you this is what we need only so the next stuff we are going to be using javascript and how to implement that autocomplete feature that we saw in the live example so i'm going to create my custom script tag and for this case i'm going to use an in like internal script tag so we are going to be using the same page we are not going to create an external file so we are going to use an internal script tag and first we need to listen to the document load we need everything to load before java before the browser executes this code so we shall say document dot add event listener and the type of event we want to listen to is dom content loaded so we put a callback function or an on-mass function in case you are wondering what this one does it waits for the document to load before executing anything that's going to be placed inside let's say you are using ajax uh, sorry jquery this is what you would write document dot ready and you put in this anonymous function or callback function so it's this is how you do it when you're using jquery and this is how you do it when you're using vanilla javascript i guess now you're not lost you can take out that then the first thing you want to do is select this element that has a class of autocomplete and to do that we are going to create a variable i'm going to call it input field so you can name it anything you want tin box stuff like that so i've called it input field and i'm going to assign it to document dot query selector whoa my brackets give me a hard time then we are going to select that class so what we are saying gun select any element that has a class of autocomplete so this class and when they select it we need to use the materialize instance of m dot autocomplete dot sorry dot init we initialize it and oh my brackets give me a time so we are going to get this variable that we created and pass into this and it will be followed by an object and in this object is where we are going to populate in the data that will be displayed to the user when they start typing and they have a key name of data and this one is also an object and it takes in the values that you will be showing to the user first of all i'll just write google let's see google and we are going to set it to null first of all i'm going to show you what you can pass into here then let's say yahoo and we set it to null as the value then 
which I use YouTube and set it to null and finally let me write Austin code and you set it to null so you may be asking why are you setting this to null so in case you have let's say a pic that you want to show alongside Google you can come here and put in those doubt quotes single quotes then you can put anything that will be following this so let us refresh and try to type in Google you can see they put a thumbnail here so in case you are fetching somewhere some images alongside the data that you want to display to the user you can put it in this area as you have seen Google and they put this you can put Google's logo here the same way Google does its stuff nowadays they give you a suggestion with an image or thumbnail on the right hand side so we can take out this as you can see they're already giving us errors here and set it to null refresh the page and this what we are having right now so any phase that has letter O in it they will select the first O and I put the second O sorry then they get down to this you can see how very very simple it is to create an autocomplete future or search engine using this materialized CSS framework we just selected the input field we passed in the instance of m.autocomplete.init and we passed in the variable and an object that takes in options so these are all options so data is an option and this is the values that are passed into data so this is what the user will be getting back when they start typing then there are also other features as you can see when we put all they bring all the results that have all in need what about when we want to limit the queries that are going to be fetched back to the user we can also do that so come to the data where it ends data option then you pass in limit and we say we want return back three results so refresh this when we put all we all know that they are they all have all and they are four but right now they have returned back three let's put two and we see when we put all they return back two results so you can search for others let's see they can get them back or stone code stuff like that then what about we don't want the user to immediately get results when they type in the first letter we want them to at least type two letters in the search engine and to do that we can add another option and it's called mean length and let's say we want two characters so the user should first type in at least two letters let's say o they'll fetch nothing we know there are articles with uh, sorry titles with o then if they put the second o that's when they will bring back the data so this is what you can do i guess you can see how it is very very simple to create a simple autocomplete search engine or future on your website and it's what i use on my search engine on the website so in case you want to see the live example i'm going to leave the link of my website in the description and see how i use it on my search engine and as i told you in the next tutorial when we are working with this we shall be using ajax and php so to fetch this data from my database instead of adding encoding this so if this tutorial was useful to you friends Feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, if possible, share it on different social medias with your friends, and I will always see you in the next tutorials.